prohibition in the USA ended in the 1930s, but investors here have been left thirsty for a professional way to pour real money into the potential of wine investment. Well, no longer. The first wine fund managed by Wall Street executives with Wall Street capital behind it has been uncorked. The concept of investing in wine isn't really new. People have been doing it privately for years in their own cellars. And in fact, there are a handful of funds in the UK delivering relatively consistent and handsome returns. But it's new in the US, uh, largely because of the myriad state-by-state -state shipping regulations and other inefficiencies of the way wine is looked at as liquor in the US. So, and to the US Wine Fund. It works like a private equity fund. Investors pool money and a manager buys, holds, and sells. The Wine Trust is a closed-end fund which in principle allows the capital to ferment. You know, wine is a very long-term asset, um, but it's historically been funded by very short-term capital. That's a classic mismatch. Uh, when you put patient capital, uh, such as that afforded by a private equity fund behind wine, you can afford to do the right things by it and generate the capital appreciation it provides over time. And over time, wine has proven its performance. The LiveX 100 Fine Wine Index, the industry benchmark, has rebounded this year to just 11% off its all-time high in 2008. And in the last five years, the average return of the LiveX is nearly 20% a year, outperforming equity markets from the U.S. to Hong Kong. The only equity markets that have really returned more than the LiveX are the emerging, the true emerging markets. But that additional return has come at the cost of consistency of returns. It provides an equity-like level of returns uh, with a bond-like level of security. And with a plunging American dollar, wine has an added temptation. It's also a currency play as we have a falling dollar in terms of value. And worst case scenario, unlike other asset classes, you can actually drink it and enjoy it, which is a, a nice plus. So in these turbulent, tipsy markets, wine can be a sobering investment. Michelle McCory, Bloomberg News.